friends, how are you doing? Bless her, Vanna is still quite sick and she is just kind of off camera right there. But hi friends, how are you doing? Welcome back to the joy of pouring with the partners, with the very sickly poorly partners. We were doing all so much better yesterday. <laughs> we all thought we were getting over it and now uh, this morning we get up and uh, it seems to have taken a second blow at us so anyway but welcome back thank you everybody that was waiting uh, in the show for us in the live chat hi there everyone you know how much we love you so much uh, and thank you all for your patience because we haven't done uh, a live show it's okay van is just uh, getting comfortable over there you're looking at me sideways right okay that was my ne that was my next question how about that is it straight now There we go, right, so unfortunately guys, there's been an update to uh, the iPhones, which I haven't done, and it seems to be screwing with my rotation uh, of my phone, so again, unfortunately, we are going to have to do the show in portrait, this way. <coughs> Excuse me, but anyway, so everybody welcome, sorry for the technical problems here, we'll update this so, uh, so we've got the show and we've got a nice landscape. Uh, a picture for you to do the actual show. So anyway, excuse me occasionally if I have to blow my nose because I've still got some of the sniffles, but let's do not last week's canvases or the week before either. I think it was the week before that to canvases. Ages ago canvases. And ages ago canvases where we were trying to do, um, uh, we were trying to do Chris uh, Jasnak's um, uh, beautiful uh, ribbon pause and we didn't get the, uh, we made a big fundamental mistake and we all learned the lesson, follow the recipe <laughs> but here we go here's banners as you can see it's very pretty indeed um, as you can see if you can see out of the window out of the door rather we've got this horrible wildfire smoke that's coming up right now uh, from the states I believe isn't it Vanna no I saw you see. oh it's actually coming from Canada I saw you so we're going to shut the door there and we've got the window only cracked slightly because it's ever so smoky here but anyway so I hope you can uh, see this let's just put a Another light on the situation now that I shut the door. Here we go. Last, uh, last, last, last week's canvases. This is Vanna's. Uh, Vanna's attempt, which came out far, far nicer than mine, which we then had various opinions on wrecking and changing. Um, and we ended up with this. Now, I do remember that we said that we would give Vanna's away because a couple of people really liked Vanna's. So we went through the old live chat from a few weeks ago and we have cho chosen the name, or Vanna chose the name rather, because she was doing it, uh, and it's June Sayer. I hope I'm getting it right, June. I'm pretty sure you're going to be watching, but June, you have, you, your name was picked out of the live chat saying love, uh, so you get this lovely picture of Vanna's. Now, I do kind of recall maybe someone saying that they did want this. Nice. Was it Moose? Yeah. I can't remember. But um, yeah, Moose, if you're in the live chat, give us a hey all. Um, and uh, if you really do want this, I'll be more than happy Neither to send of it those to you. Right Neither of them are in the chat right now. Oh, that's a shame. But anyway, huge big chat to everybody in the shout out to everybody in the chat right now. So that was last week's canvases. Now, what we are doing this week is we are going to teach you how we made these beautiful double sided paws or the reinvented sun catchers. Now, as you can see, when you hopefully there's a nice light source on it, does it look good on the picture there as it's going yes, around? Yes, it does. And you're getting a nice little kind of effect of the yes. glistens and the shimmers and whatnot. Yes. We're going to teach you guys how we make these, the reinvented sun catcher. Now, that was a lovely description that someone uh, posted when I posted the videos of these online a little while ago, a couple of months ago. They said, oh wow, it's like a reinvented sun catch. And I said, that's fantastic. Do you mind if I use it? Uh, so we're going to teach you how to actually make these. Okay, guys? So. Oh, thank you, Rainbow. <laughs> um, Heather, Rainbow Bean is in my ear right now. Of course, she says, I love that rainbow slide. Thank you, darling. So let's get the camera pointing down kind of thing. Hopefully it will be the right way. Da, 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 da. Boom, boom. Um, just got to straighten that, make sure that's pointing down, and I think we've got a nice view of the area. Do we there, Rainbow Bean? <laughs> I'm still crooked though, it says. Here, I'll show you. 
Now I'm crooked again. Right, I'm trying to keep the fluid arc co in the middle here. So is it nicely in the middle? Oops. There we go. Fantastic. Excellent. Oh. Push it Excuse me for coughing, my friends. Right, now, there we go. I can kind of see that's as straight as we're going to get it. So here we go, guys. Hope June. Hi, June. June. Ah, so Heather said June has just arrived in the, in the live chat. So she just got here. June. Well done, June. Your name was picked out of the live chat from a few weeks ago for the, for the person that said love it and they wanted to win Vanna's piece. So June, well done, June. And I'm sorry for getting your pronouncing your... Saya? Saya. Saya. Yeah, June. There you go, my darling. You've won that. So we'll be in contact to get a address from you. And we will be sending this to you. And um, is Moose in the, uh, in the chat yet or is she still not there? Not there, but she has a live leader and someone will tell her. Moose. There we go, Moose. You won this one. I think it was you that wanted this one. If you didn't, I don't blame you because it really was a bit of a... You know, we did so many things to this. We beat the hell out of this canvas. <laughs> but anyway, if you really wanted that one moose, you're more than welcome. <coughs> there was a lot of there was a lot of effort and love put in. Yes, exactly, Heather. Excuse me, guys. Just a quick uh, um, drink. Ah, right. Oops. I've lost one of the year buds. Vanna, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to put it back in and I might disconnect Heather. Okay. I probably have. I'll Brilliant. She's going to reconnect. Okay then, guys. So what we start with to make one of those lovely, um, to make one of these lovely reinvented sun catchers. A double-sided pour for anyone that's just joined. This is what we're doing today. We're going to teach you how we make these beautiful double-sided pours or the reinvented sun catcher. So, you like that one, do you, Heather? We had, uh, I had about four of them and we took them to the festival that's, uh, that, you know, we work at, the Shambhala Music Festival. No, no, no one wanted that one. We, I had four of them. I put a fairly high price on them because there's so much work in them. Uh, but uh, we sold a couple of them. People absolutely really loved them. And uh, as soon as we sold other people's art, I was putting up all of my um, other acrylic pours and things like that. And people were, they were going, by, uh, they were selling like hotcakes. Anyway, 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 this is what we start with to make one of these sun catchers. It is a half inch piece of MDF board. Now I found half inch is pretty good. It's uh, any thinner than that, you won't run the risk of uh, the wood actually warping and bending a little bit. But half inch or any thicker is really good because it can take all of the paint and it won't warp at all. It's really quite good. I've given this a prime with some bonding primer and then I just gave it a very light sand on the edges because the edges of MDF can be a little bit, um, can be a little bit rough. But this is what we are actually using. Okay, so to make one of these sun catchers, what we need to do is pour on one side of <laughs> uh, the piece of wood. Now I've poured on this just a little while ago. I hope that's a good picture. Is that a good picture, guys? Fantastic. Yeah, there you go. Lovely color palette I was playing around with. Uh, I did post it online as well. Uh, very pretty. But so we want to paint, we want to pour. Uh, on the other side here. So I'm just going to run through these colours here. This is going to make you happy rainbows, obviously. <laughs> and then I'll show you, I will show you, she's giggling in my ear, I will show you how I uh, mask up uh, this side to obviously protect it from when we pour on this side. So let's just go through the colours here and we'll go through the consist. I'll show you the consistencies when we start to use them. But this is a fantastic favourite colour palette of mine. I hope you can see them all right now. Da, da, da. Uh, there, oh, no, you can't. There we go. Pull it forward. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm using the camera, the front camera, so you can see the logos and everything like this, you see, uh, rather than use the camera the other way around so it faces you. But uh, when we use the camera that way around, like your FaceTiming, 
any little logos or anything like that are all going to be reversed and backwards so we're trying to make it so you guys can see and read because a big shout out to the lovely fluid art co and shout out to everybody that's at poor con right now having a whale of a time we love you we miss you and we've got serious fomo about not being there but it just wasn't in the cards we just couldn't afford it but anyway and we're very sick, so we couldn't have gone anyway. So it was just as well because we couldn't have gone and spread this sickness around anyway. So colors, we are using the fantastic, this little piggy, and this one is called Ore, super beautiful bright gold. Now it's gonna be a, paint, a piggy paint, piggy paint, paint kind of situation. We're using PBO or PEBIO Studio Acrylics. This one is the uh, iridescent blue green. And we're using my favorite, of course, it's the gorgeous twinkle. Interference uh, blue uh, and violet color. It is just absolutely fantastic color. But yeah, we call this the holographic unicorn palette because it very much mimics Sean's hair. <laughs> and lots of people love this kind of palette. We've got, um, now we're using the Pebio violet blue, uh, um, iridescent violet blue. So it's this lovely violet color, but it has a flash of blue to it. Uh, and the uh, the blue green obviously is this lovely bluey greeny color that flashes green. Now we're using another couple of uh, tube paints. We're using the Liquitex soft body acrylic fluorescent blue here, and as you can see, it's a uh, it's uh, semi opaque, and we're using fluorescent opera pink as well. And as you can see from the little square half filled in, it's semi opaque too. Now these two are black light reactive, so under a black light, this is going to make a rather fantastic show. Now, the uh, cell activators we're using, we've got some gold uh, cell activator, gold cell activator, it's Rust-Oleum gold mine, mixed with Australian flow troll, and about two, two to one. And then we've got the uh, permanent, uh, permanent blue violent by Amsterdam. Again, this one's mixed at about three to one, just because the Amsterdam paint is a little bit thicker than the Rust-Oleum gold mine. And then we've got the titanium white as well by the uh, by uh, Amsterdam Studio Acrylics too. So there, they are. Those are our options. As I've uh, done a bloom on this side, I feel we're going to do a swipe on the other side. Now Vanna's going to do some painting because everyone loves Vanna and doing some painting, but only if she feels up to it. Because bless her heart, I felt a lot better when I got up this morning, and Vanna did not feel very good at all. So here we go, then, friends. Well, let us show you how I then tape up this side. So we use this stuff because we're um, professional painters and decorators in the day job. We use this stuff, uh, the frog tape. Uh, now it's a little more expensive than other masking tapes. And then the reason is because it really has a fantastic glue formula that really helps you get a super crisp, sharp edge to your paint but I'm also gonna teach you a trick of how to make sure you do. So anyway, there's two ways you can actually do this now. We could just tape up just the front and then pour right over it and pour over the edges here. But I really quite like these edges, especially when we get a coat of resin on this because these edges flow nicely over here and I'd like to keep them. So I'm gonna show you as long as this is nicely, there we go, perfectly kind of in view there. I'm gonna show you how we do this. Now, I'm going to tape up as close as I can to this edge here. Oops, sorry, let's just turn it around because we wanna paint on this side and we're covering this side. So we want to get the tape. I hope this is nice and in focus, everybody, and you can see clearly. Get the tape as close as you can to the edge not over the edge, and we'll be able to do a little trick here just to make sure you've got it right to the edge, but not over, because if you can do this here and the tape pulls up, we're a little bit too close. So we need to pull it off a little bit and just leave a tiny thin little line of the black. And now we know we're right on the edge. Is that a really good close up? Uh, excuse me for sniffing people, but there you go, okay? So we're right on the very edge there nicely. So then we then move this edge around, pull the tape out again, and then just make sure it's right at the edge, leaving a really thin, tiny little line that we can see of the black edge that we painted. So 
There we go. How's that, Sean? Does that look like a good edge? Oh, a little bit of a delay on you. Bit of a delay, but how, did, yeah, how does that look? That is good. Yeah, the nice close up so you can see the edge, so you can see how close I'm going to it. Like, not right up to it, because we don't want to create a lip. But then we're going to go and do the same on this edge. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Bingo. And then the last one, just folding this little edge over first. And then the last edge again, just sticking real close. Da, 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 da. So, and then just tear it off. Now I really nicely pressure the edge with my fingers here. And now you can see, this is what it looks like. And we've got this edge taped up really beautifully, okay? Now you must leave a pour at least, you know, I'm lucky I've tried it, you know, just a few days. Uh, and I've tried them uh, uh, when I've uh, done a pour over a week or so, left it a week to dry. Uh, and with this tape, as long as you're quick with it, as in you remove it as soon as this side is dry tomorrow, it will be fine and it won't actually harm or leave any kind of marks on this side of the pour at all. Now this is because it's this really good quality frog tape. I can't speak for the lesser quality uh, masking tapes because with the lesser quality masking tapes, the quality is actually in the paper and in the glue that sticks the paper. This stuff is fantastic because it's a very gentle glue, much like the glue on the back of a uh, post-it note. So it, it sticks without actually bonding. I know the green tape, if you leave it a little longer, it actually starts to bond and will pull paint off. The same as the blue tape too. This yellow tape is just absolutely amazing, as I've said, but it is just a little bit more expensive than the others. But we use it, we have it, and we use it because we use it uh, professionally in our day jobs. So, what brand, right, Heather says, what brand is it? It is Frog Tape. There we go. Keep paint, keep paint, uh, oh, sorry, there we go, guys. That's the wrong way. There you go. That's the right way for you. Frog tape. Keeps paint out, keeps line sharp. Excuse me one second, guys. Oh, dear. I so hoped we were done with this. <laughs> Sickness, but no, it's still there. So there you go, my friends. This is uh, how you then mask up the back of it, okay? Now, the secret trick, especially if you're not using the frog tape, or a cheaper tape, uh, the secret and a secret trick for you guys right now will be, and I can't believe I'm telling you this because these are super secret, super secret tricks. What you do is you just get your varnish. I use Joe Sonia. Whatever varnish it is you actually use, and what you do is get a drop of it on your finger and you rub it just along the edge here where you want the tape to absolutely be perfect. And what you're doing with the bit of varnish here is now sealing that edge. And because you're using so little, because it's just a little bit on your fingertips, that's drying virtually immediately now and is helping the tape absolutely make a watertight seal and a bond. I hope that makes sense and that was all good. <laughs> Rainbow Bean says, now you tell us. And I'm like, yeah, all of the secrets about how we do what we do. <coughs> Excuse me. So guys, let me just get the ba -ba -ba -ba. A fluid art. Hi guys, thank you again so much for all of your help. We love you there, Fluid Art, and we hope you're having an amazing time there at, uh, uh, at Porcon, of course, yes, exactly. So here we go, there's that one. There's a nice bloom on one side, so what I figured is we we're gonna do a swipe on this side. Now, Vanna, my dear, would you like to do a swipe or are you quite happy just sitting there taking it easy this week? I can do a swipe. Oh, bless her, she's yawning, saying, I could do a swipe. <laughs> <coughs> Are you sure, my dear? I just don't want to be on camera and I'm not super chatty. Okay, so you're not super chatty. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. I'm sleeping. Okay, and let I me... I have sniffles, so pardon my sniffles. It's, exactly. It's really ridiculous how much snot a human body can produce. Oh, it's... <laughs> it, 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 
<laughs> Heather's laughing in my ear here. It really is not too, it, it's, it's not fun at all. So hang on guys, I'm just... Like, I'm not sick enough to stay in bed all day. It's just enough to be really irritating. Exactly, that's horrible. Now, I didn't give these paints a little tiny quick stir up this morning. That was one thing I forgot to do, because we must just give them a little stir, because they do and can separate a little bit. Especially uh, the, here we go guys, especially the uh, pigments can separate just a little bit and sink a little bit. So I'm just gently moving them around, I'm mooching them around, I'm not really stirring them. I'm just making sure that the pigments are all nicely dispersed here, because they can sink a little overnight. Here we go. Oh, bless. Heather says, yeah, Vanna can swipe and I can chat for the both of you. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> waffle, 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 waffle. So anyway, guys, let me just, uh, here we go. I'll show you the consistency. I can hear myself in your uh, phone. <laughs> waffle, 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 waffle. Here you go, guys. There's the consistency, okay? You see, it holds up just for a second and then disappears. Beautiful, okay? So those are our colors. Uh, Vanna, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose a, whoops, let's just put this brake back on so we stop moving about. Hello. I'm going to choose a, uh, right, so this is the Holographic Unicorn palette. Now I called it that because First time I made it and I used it, I used this amazing colour. And this is called Ford Fuchsia by uh, Benjamin Moore. Uh, not Benjamin Moore. Psst, by, um, uh, I'll let go, Sherwin Williams. Thank you, Vanna. Yes, God, my brain is not still not working properly at all whatsoever. So anyway, we're going to do some of that. We're going to use that, Vanna, and we're going to, you're going to, oops. We've got your swiping tool here, darling. And what colour would you like to use? No, 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 for your cell activator, my darling. Oh, uh, white and blue. White and blue, fantastic. Would you like me to pour for you, sweetheart? Yes, that would be lovely. Thank but you. do you want to put your own colours down, my dear? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go with this fantastic colour. Look at that. It's oh, just lots. like... No, that's enough. That's not lots. That's just enough. Okay, guys, now I know it's a little bit, you know, some people say, oh, you know, you're a clean freak and it's a bit anal, but I always wipe the pot of the top of my pots, okay, after I've poured them out, because if you do this, it helps you have a nice clean edge to put the lid back on, and the lid doesn't get stuck and then doesn't have loads of gunge to dry paint, that when you finally unforce it open, all those dry bits go into your pillow paint and just makes it a real mess. So if you always just wipe the top, you see, and you keep the clean edges there, you get lovely pillow paint right to the end with no bits in it. Secret little side tip, oh, there you go. Um, do you want to do the tipping? I like to do the tipping. Sean likes, uh, Vanna likes to do the tipping, so let's just, wait on a second, Van. There's a goober. Yeah, I can see goobers here, yeah. There's one there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can turn off the ring light. Sorry, guys. I put it on so we could see the, um, see Vanna's. My painting. Brilliant. Bingo, gone. How about that? Is that good? Better. You've got video lag going there, Heather. You, you want to just tip it back this way, darling? Just a little. So it's back in the middle and even, there we go. I can see another goober there. There we go, got him. Brilliant, there we go, thank you, Heather. In the middle, there we go. Yeah, the Ford Fuchsia is what it's called, but it's just such a gorgeous colour, isn't it? Vanna came in last night when I was mixing these colours and planning today, and she was wearing a, uh, she was wearing a sweater, exactly that colour, and I went, oh! Guess what kind of pillow you're using tomorrow? <laughs> I love all the pinks. They're fantastic, aren't they? And especially with this color palette going on it, it really is something special. All right. Okay, sweetheart, now you can use them in whichever order you like. Okay. So where are you gonna swipe? Are you gonna swipe right across or what are you gonna do? 
yeah, right, right across. So you can put them on one side and then swipe yeah, right across. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Excellent. That's what's happening. <laughs> right. Okay. Let me just go back through the chat and I have some. Hi, George Ann. Precious, uh, precious Bean. It's so joyous Bean is in the live chat. Hi, George Ann. And of course, oh, Linda. Hi there, Le Chatterbot. <laughs> Oh, this is Tina different. Wheaton's in there. Hi, Tina. This blue is beautiful. The blue, the, yes, that's the uh, the uh, Pebio uh, iridescent blue and green. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, Tiny Bean's in there. Hi there, Tiny Bean. GE, hi there, GE. How are you doing? Extra Less. Like There's that. loads of people in here. Yeah. June, say hi there, June. You haven't said hi to June. Bless. Deborah's here. Hi, Deborah. Oh, Devil Bean. Darling, how are you doing? I think we're all. Uh, we've, I think we're all got a little bit of FOMO about. Of course um, we do. About not being at PoorCon. Not being at PoorCon. No, exactly. Which is not great, but you know we just do what we can, can't we? Oh bless, Krina. Krina Tom is there. Hi there, Krina. Bless your so Bless your cotton. Thank you for being here with us. Haven't painted in so long. No, we haven't painted in so long. Oh, bless, PPP, Polly Prissy Pants. Hi, darling, you're here. Bless your heart. Thank you, sweetheart. Lovely to see you. We've got a good turnout for thank now you. that we've done a show in three Yeah, weeks. thank you for, for your support, Polly. That's so lovely. I'm sorry we've been absent yeah, for so Yeah, I'm long. sorry we've been absent for so long, guys. But Oh, and Justin here. Is Justin. Oh, Hi, I'm Justin. Just... <laughs> Justin, Sally, too. Bless him. Hi, Justin. Thank you. There we go. Excellent. Thank you guys for all being there. Absolutely love you to bits. Oh, I like what you're doing here, Vanna. Thanks. And you said you wanted the white. White and blue. And the blue. There's the white, my darling. Gosh, I wish I'd bought some lip balm. My lips are rather dry. Rub the oil off the side of your nose. Yes, I've been told that trick before, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's just move these little painties out the way. These. Alright, I'm gonna try something different now. You think I could put blue on this side and white on that side? What would happen? You're gonna drag one over the other and through the other. So yeah, have a go. Try. Why not? Okay. Yeah. I've never done it before. Yeah. So why not try it for the first time? Why not on try it on a TV show? Live on a TV show so we all learn live. Whether it's a good idea or a, or a bad, bad idea. idea. I figure they're gonna, it's just a different way of mixing the two. Similar to when uh, I put one over hole and then just drizzle the other one. Yeah. But let's see if it makes a different, a different that's quite a lot of cell activated though, babe. I want more blue than white. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> You're very brave with that amount of cell activity, so I just... I always use more than you. I know. And I don't want them to touch. I want to get blue on the white stick. That would be preferable, but if you do, don't worry. Let me just wipe it first before you put it in the pot. I did not. Oh, look at you. You're amazing. Hang on, then. Let me get those it's out of the way. Here. Here, but it's going to be great. I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. So, okay. Contact. Oh, are you going to wiggle it, Sean, or do it straight? No, she's doing it straight, Heather. Oh, look at that. Oh, and I missed a whole chunk on the side. That's okay, that's okay. Here, Donna, wipe it on that. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. Ooh, look at what happened. Ooh. That's Ooh, pretty. that's very pretty. Did you want to swipe this little bit here, maybe, or just leave it because it'll probably I'm come off? I'm pretty sure it's going to come off, but maybe we should, should I tip it a little bit? I think we maybe. What we should do is actually um, just uh, torch it. Ah, because there's some bubbles, bubbles there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something we could have done is just very quickly torch the pillow, just in case there were any. Um, Bubbles in it. I'm going to swipe this piece again. You do want to swipe that I piece again? The negative. Okay, darling. I'm just going to throw some blue on this little guy. You just oh, okay, cool. There you go. Nice. I love it. That's it. Get it in the frame so people know. Yeah, perfect. See what you're doing. And then I'll do this. Huh? Pretty fantastic, jelly beans. Hey. Like it. 
Do pretty things. Do pretty things. Do pretty things, she said. <laughs> but of course, we always know the proof of the pudding is you can't judge anything oh, yet until you uh, spin it. This one made tiny cells and that one made big cells. Because you have way more cell activator yeah. on. Now, the thing um, with the cell activators, because they're different densities, they sink quicker yeah, okay. and uh, I've always found that you get really big cells very quickly when you use a tube paint and then a metallic as a cell activator because yeah. the metallic has mica in it is naturally heavier it sinks faster through it and will make bigger cells so but anyway do we uh, we don't need to wet the edges because we've got all the edges taped up right now so do we just want to give this puppy a spin we do okay spin her away ow. oh ow here we go let's give it a bit more of a spin there we go And you know, we love living up, we like leaving our spins a bit longer than usual to give the paint more chance to come off. Because the less times you spin it, the better okay. chance you have. I knew that part was going to come off anyways. Yeah, look, That's it literally so did. Pretty. The less you spin it though, the better chance we have of maintaining that nice cell structure and everything. But why well, let's have a look at the movement. Yeah, still moving a little bit. Still moving just a little bit. So let's give it one more spin. Oh, it's so pretty. Try and stop it before all that gold comes off the bottom. Well, you gotta let come off what's gonna come off, you know. Okay. It is what it is. We're still gonna keep a little bit of it. Yay! Oh, that's very pretty. There we go, we've got that lovely gold there. Here we go, and we can just tilt it back there so you've got a bit more of it. Sorry, darling. Oh, it's beautiful. Tina Wheaton, hi there, Tina. Bless her heart. Hi there, Tina. Uh, now, Tina Wheaton is, did she say, oh, Lily, no, yeah, Lily, but, oh, there you go. Hi, Lily, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, sweetheart. We are learning how to make these double-sided blooms, or what we call the reinvented sun catcher. Welcome, Lily. So, we've done one side. This is uh, Banner's one side, and... Uh, all you've missed really is a lovely chat, an intro, and how we tape up um, the back of uh, one of these sides. I'm very smitten with that. To then paint on the other side. I think this is absolutely beautiful, so let's get a... I love this metallic pink. The metallic pink. It's yes, so that's the... Here we go. Look at that. Quite pleased with myself. Gorgeous, Vanna. That's absolutely beautiful. Well done. So, right, we're just going to wipe the edges here. Now, don't worry about these edges because, again, we've got them taped up. So when we pull the tape off, these uh, fuchsia edges are going to go and it's just going to be dark. So there we go. We just wiped up the edges there nicely. I shall put this over here. That's gorgeous. Look at that. It is. Look at that. Look at that. Just going to give it... Torch, torch. Just one more little torch because uh, we don't want any barbels in there. Gold jelly beans. Oh yeah, the yes, I know it's a bit sad, isn't it? But we have got to say because we are we are one of those neat freak, clean people, painters that clean up. Every time, yeah, and Heather's just going, uh, in my, in my ear. <laughs> yes, those kind of people, uh, because uh, it's again, it's because of the day job and the way we work. Uh, we have to work very cleanly to be good and efficient at our jobs because we're paid, we're paid pretty good money to uh, get paint on the walls and on the trim <laughs> and on other places it's wanted <laughs> and we don't get paint anywhere else that's one thing that uh, sets vanna and i apart from most other interior painters wallpapers and decorators and things like that is that uh, we don't use tape we have it in our kit we occasionally use it if it's a necessity but we don't use tape we freehand everything all of our edges to our trim and our walls and um uh, yes we have a uh, Vanna has had her business up here on the mountain for over 20 years yeah. and has an impeccable, spotless uh, reputation. reputation, exactly. And, and then I came along. <laughs> no. no, I came along and it was one of the...
crazy similarities between Vanna and I when we first met Plutonic Pooh's friends at our friend's wedding. Uh, that we were both painters and decorators and had exactly the same high level attention to detail and work ethic and standard. And uh, that's what makes us such a great team. Belle, hi Belle. Thank you so much for joining us. Apologies for not speaking directly to the camera. I was just washing my hands and the, uh, and the rag. Because there we go, that was Vanna's beautiful piece she just did. And uh, if Belle Waters has only just joined us, let me just dry off the dry off the spinner here. You got twenty-four minutes. Here we go, Belle. And for Lily, uh, no, Lily had already joined us and seen this, but oh my gosh, the metallic pink there, Vanna in the top. That's the um, PBO or PEVIO iridescent blue violet. It's just fantastic. But there you go, Belle. This is what Vanna has just made. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. Uh, Heather's saying my, in my ear, gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And Belle, if you have just joined us, this is what we're teaching you how to make. It's the double-sided pour or what we call the reinvented sun catcher. And uh, if you'd like to watch the show back from the beginning, you'll get all the info on how we are making these and how we tape up one side so we can pour on the other. And then we follow a very similar process with the uh, resin part. But... Bell says it's 4 Oh, bless her heart. Bell waters, so 4 a.m. So where is Bell? 4.30 a.m., so where is Belle? Belle must be... Europe? Somewhere in... Well, uh, in Europe, it's... No, in England and Portugal, it's... Uh, we start at 9 p.m. Australia. Ah, oh, she's in Perth, Australia. Hi there, darling. Belle, 4.30 in the morning. Wow. You're either an insomniac like myself or you have a very early job. But anyway, so we've seen Vanna's side and everything. like We've seen Vanna's do, uh, do, do the swipe and everything. And... Uh, but uh, I'd like to have a go. So, in the good old fashioned way of the old school children's programs, here's one I did earlier. <laughs> and it's a nice pour. You can't see it, obviously, because I've already covered it because we showed you how to actually, uh, you know, uh, how, to, uh, how to tape up the edges and everything. But here's a pour I did a while ago and I've taped it up, I've sealed the edges. So Frosty's gonna have a go. Da, 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 da. Uh, and I'm going to do a swipe too because, you know, I like swipes. And the other side of these um, uh, double-sided blue, uh, double-sided sun catchers, are blooms. So it's always nice, I feel, to do a swipe on one side and then a bloom on the other. So further justification for me doing what I want <laughs> and doing a swipe. Anyway, I've been humming and hiring whether to use the fuchsia or black again with this colour palette. I'm leaning towards, I'm going to use black again with this colour palette and we're going to see how it kind of looks because we saw it on Vanna's nice, beautiful Ford Fuchsia pillow. So this is the Tricorn Black from Sherwin-Williams. And there we go, that's enough. Pretty sure. Oh, sorry, Heather said that uh, Sherwin Williams had a 35% off paints and stains. Wow, there you go, guys. So anyone that didn't know, if you're in the States, Sherwin Williams, are they still doing the sale, Heather? Ah. Uh... Okay, so in the States, it works a bit different than, oops, Sherwin Williams here in uh, the UK, uh, here in the UK, here in Canada. Uh, but it, uh, Heather says in my ear, if you're in the States and you sign up with Sherwin-Williams for their email updates, they will email you when they're having these huge sales so you can get yourself down there and order yourself lots of color to go, which is uh, my favorite, my favorite hands down uh, pillow paint. Uh, closely followed by Glidden Premium in white satin. I use the premium rather than the um, essentials, which is slightly cheaper, because the uh, premium I found had less 
Bubbles in it for me. But anyway, so there we go, guys. There's the uh, tricorn black there. Is that a nice scented picture, Heather? And is it in focus, my dear? Yes. Perfect, perfect. So we're just gonna spread these edges out. Well, there's quite a lot of paint I put down, but as we know, there's only one thing then worse than using too much paint. Not enough. Not enough paint, <laughs> exactly. Hang on. So I always like having a bit of, uh, a bit of uh, kitchen roll on the side, just to wipe off my tools and whatnot, because we don't, we don't, Hi, hi Heather, give me a hey sigh and I'll shut up and listen to what you're saying, Heather. <laughs> One second, guys. Just, a, right, Bell Waters asked if I can use just acrylic for the base. Just acrylic, what, just basic acrylic paint? Yes, absolutely, you can, absolutely you can. I've, uh, I've, um, I, I've actually even made my own base paint one time using US Floetrol and Amsterdam uh, Standard Acrylic. Basically, literally just put a few ounces, about four or five, uh, yeah, about four ounces of uh, the standard acrylic paint in uh, a quart of Floetrol and made my own actual pillow paint and that worked absolutely beautifully. But um, I guess it all depends on the, the acrylic and the paint that you're actually wanting to use. Belle, I'm not 100% sure, Diane, because you're in um, Australia and I'm not familiar with the uh, products over there. The best thing I can say is try it and let us know how it works out. So I was chitty chatting, not really paying attention about which way, uh, which, um, sorry, how, which order, Vanna put her, put her colours down it in. But I'm going to do them. No, 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 it's okay. Because I'm going to do them this way. So I'm going to put a little bit of gold down first. Uh, the beautiful ore. There we go. That's how I started too. You started with your two? Uh -huh. Cool. Brilliant. It's such a fabulous colour. It really is just amazing. And when it's on a dark background, or even on a lighter, you know, like the fun fuchsia, uh, Ford Fuchsia background, it just absolutely kicks butt. It is amazing. But the Holographic Unicorn palette is actually supposed to be put down in this order. So we've got a pigment, and now we've got a paint going down. There we go. And you'll notice each time I put some paint down, I'll put slightly less and less, especially if it's uh, a tube paint like uh, the Pebio, uh, which I am fairly certain is semi-opaque, if not, uh, no, semi-opaque, uh, uh, semi, semi yes. Now we're gonna be really generous with the beautiful, gorgeous Twinkle, because we love Twinkle so much. And I'm gonna get a little bit more there and put that down, because you just can't have enough Twinkle in your life. Bingo. <laughs> Heather, she's making me laugh and giggle with my ears. Yes. Okay, so that's the twinkle. Now we're putting down the Pebio Iridescent Violet Blue. And again, it's a two paint, so it's more than likely going to be semi-opaque. So we're just gonna, you know, sparingly put it down, because if we put too much down, you run the risk of it totally overtaking and blotting out the colours below. Now the next nice contrast we're going to put down, this is the uh, Liquitex and this is the fluorescent blue. And this is, you can see now where we're getting the holographic unicorn palette from, right? <laughs> you guys are seeing the colours that I'm seeing, right? <laughs> and fantastic, there's 22 in the room now. Oh guys, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your patience whilst we were away and then unable to do the show just because we were so sick and full of cold, it was awful. Uh, and we're just getting over it now. We were feeling better, but poor Vanna was even more sniffly this morning than she has been before. So. In the forest by It's a family reunion. I went in the live chat, oh, fantastic. But yeah, it's also, um, because of the wildfire smoke, it's really absolutely terrible, so. Here we go, I don't want to lose these colours too much. Stop waffling and frosty. 
Now Frosty is going to do this. She's going to put some white down. And then, yes. Bingo. So there we go, guys. I like just pouring it out there a little bit. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, that's a very good thing. Yes, absolutely. Heather just reminded me, if anyone's got any questions out there, now is the time to ask in the live chat. We are very, we, we try to be as helpful as we can. And with the moderators in the live chat and all the fantastic people, they can help answer any questions you guys might have. So now I'm just going to now da, 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 dribble. There we go. The um, Prussian blue. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, George Ann wants to know how the festival was. The festival was um, rather... Fun and exhausting. Fun and exhausting. Absolutely. That's the, uh, that's the best way, really, I would say, to um, describe our festival experience this, this year. Uh, we work for... Uh, Fantastic festival, and it's just been voted, as it does every year, it gets voted the best festival in North America. Uh, it's a smaller boutique festival, so it's only about 20-odd thousand people. But um, yes, it's an amazing time, an amazing show, and uh, we're part of a fantastic crew there. There are six stages in total, and we work with and for the largest stage, which is called the Village Stage. And uh, we run the art gallery there, which is so much fun because you get to interact with all of these lunatics that come from all over the world. But anyway, chitty chat, chitty chat, waffle, waffle, waffle. I'm really loving... Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, is it pretty? Do you like that, guys? Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to... Hopefully this bit will come off because I put a lot down and we're going to end up with this bit here in the middle. And that should be real pretty. Here we go. Oh, that was a bit of a quick spin. Here we go, slow it down a bit, speed it up a bit, catch the drips with your fingers because we don't want to flick it around the studio. It's been so long I forgot to hit the thumbs up, Danielle reminded me. Oh bless, Danielle, what, Danielle Bozeman? Tiny Bean. Tiny yeah. Bean, thank you Tiny Bean. Yes, remind everyone, hit the thumbs up if you like what you see. Even I forgot. And please share, share the video, tell your friends about the video. If you're allowed to share videos in the acrylic pouring groups you're in online, please share my videos, share our videos rather, because that really helps us uh, spread, spread uh, get a wider audience when other people, other than us obviously, you know, just share the videos there. But, oh wow, that's gorgeous. There's still a bit of movement in the middle, so we're gonna go again. Hey there, Heather. Okay, thanks Heather. Tina, hi there Tina, you're saying, if you're, you've given something a coat of resin, but it's not come out as nice as you wanted it to, and you need to give it another coat of resin, you can, if uh, it's with it, well, it all depends on which brand you're using. I use Magic Resin, and if the first coat hasn't come out quite so well, as long as it's in between four to six hours of you putting that first coat on, so it will still be sticky, you can put another coat, bang, straight over it immediately and then leave it and it should be good. Otherwise, yes, if you've left it more than 24 hours, you have to give it a very light sand, well, you know, a good sanding basically, because you need, the, uh, you need to do that to rough up the uh, original coat of resin. So the new coat of resin has something actually good to bond into and on, rather than just a flat glassy surface. Uh, if you do that, it can separate. So yeah, give it a really good sand down, uh, Tina, but, Make sure you're doing that outside with a mask on because resin dust is carcinogenic and you do not want to breathe it. So whenever I do that, what I do is I sand it very slowly, not briskly to create dust. I sand it very slowly and methodically and then I have a wet microfiber cloth to then wipe the piece, wipe my hands and then rinse under the sink to rinse all of that nasty uh, resin dust away because it's very toxic. But yes, waffle, waffle, waffle. You do need to sand it, but be very careful because it's nasty stuff. Bingo. 10 minutes. Oh, bless, yeah, 10 minutes. Well, this is it, Vanny. See, so we're not governed by time anymore now because now we're on a Saturday. There's no one else behind us that we know of. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, a good one to ask is Linda, uh, Le, Le Chateau Bots. 
uh, if because uh, she she's in many groups and she's moderators for many groups. Uh, if there is anyone that's uh, uh, that's got a premiere or a video coming out today after our show, we'll cut it short. But otherwise, we're actually at free and liberty to go as long as we want. Do you know what I mean? But there you go, guys. What do you think? I think that came out rather special. I love it very much. I think it's great. Is that a good, good picture? Awesome. And you can see we wait. <laughs> like that, there we go. I'm just getting there. Move it to the right and move it around because then we get the beautiful glitter of the gold. But there we go, yes, that's come out beautifully. Very, very happy with that one. So we're just gonna get the little palette, find a corner that the palette knife can get up and under and then get our fingers under it real quick. There we go. Uh, still give it a wipe, even though it doesn't technically matter because we've got the edges all taped up. And when we pull the tape off, we will See that beautiful edge from the other bloom on the other side. It's so pretty. Oops, sorry guys, if I'm... All this, all this paint skin material, look at that. I know I could just leave that because that would make some fan, that would make a great piece of jewelry or something like that, wouldn't it? It's very lovely, but there we go, guys. I need a few. <laughs> I love you, Heather. I couldn't have paid you to say that, could I? You need a few more of those fluid art commands, she says. <laughs> yes, bless them. When I helped them redesign uh, the mats with the concentric circles, so it was much easier for you guys, or for people using the mats, uh, to actually, uh, you know, line up your square canvas or your round canvas in the middle of your spinner because all the mats I'd ever seen before were just, just straight plastic mats. And it's like, well, if you actually kind of have a bit of a target on them, you know where the middle is and you can always uh, line up your canvases nicely so you get even spins. Or more importantly, when you want to spin them off axis, you know what I mean, where you want more to lose one side than the other side, it's really easy to position them to make sure you get that. Now, this is probably going to break your heart, Heather, if I just rip this up and, and, uh, and uh, let's just get rid of those. Here we go. Big old bubbles in there. This is going to break your heart if I just wipe this away or if I scoop it up and use it as another pillow, isn't it? <laughs> she said, she said, I'm more sad about losing the gold jelly beans on Vanna's piece. Oh, thank you. Anyway, so. Yes, she, she did get her fix today, absolutely. Um, so, we could actually do another one. We could use it, we could see what this colour palette. Sorry, Heather, what was that? She's laughing in my ear, guys. What was that, Heather? Yes, 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 please do another one, she says, bless her heart. So what I'm thinking is that um, we've used this colour palette. Winterstrom, Winterstrom, why are you saying Winterstrom, my dear? Jess, she's in, she's in, she's in Vegas right now. Oh, right, okay, I see what you're saying, Heather. She's saying, yeah, Jessica Winterstrom, we could try doing one of her pieces. But Heather, don't you remember, I've seen a few of her videos many, many, long, many moons ago, indeed. And I remember talking about her and saying, yes, I, from what I can remember, she has a very unique style of her fluid art, which really sets her apart and everything. But I can't exactly remember what it was or how it was. I haven't watched one of her videos, like I said, for such a long time. So honestly, my dear Heather, that's a lovely suggestion, but I wouldn't have a clue where to begin. <laughs> That's maybe an idea for next week, exactly. Oh, 
Oh, bless her. Heather says that she's watched about 100 of uh, Jessica Winterstrom's videos and she's been trying her heart out to try and replicate them, but uh, she's still not happy with her results. Again, I feel for you, Heather, so many people have got that same, that same kind of you know, issue, that they're so desperately trying to create something that they can see the beauty in and they keep seeing the failures rather than the beauty that everyone else sees. So, a swipe with a lift and a gray. Oh, a swipe with a lift and a gray. yes, that's it. She's the scoop and drag. Yes, she, yes, like yes, yes, and the transfers. That's what she does now. I'm remembering. Thank you. Who reminded you there? Yeah, and I see. I tried to do the scoop and drag them the last time, you know, during during uh, during um, this um, let's call it, you know, attempt, <laughs> uh, and there wasn't enough paint on it for me to actually scoop, pick it up, and scoop and drag it properly. So um, I'm very reluctant to do something like that right now because I haven't practiced it or anything like that. You have to use extra extra paint when you. And you have to use extra extra paint, and it's you know I like to try to. Uh, hopefully help people learn something or definitely learn by my mistakes. But even if they're learning by my mistakes, I like to have at least tried it first once before making those mistakes. <laughs> Is the picture nice and straight? Uh -huh. Anyway, so here you go, guys. This is what you're going to end up with when you pull the tape off both sides i was waiting to show you this one so i'm just waiting i painted this side first left it a good week or more and then taped it up just as i showed you poured on this one i think it was last night or the night before playing around with these color palettes uh and then it's quite pretty isn't it you like that one heather this side or that side <sighs> The jelly beans on the other, exactly. This is because I use the Rust-Oleum gold mine and uh, because it's metallic, it sinks faster. And that's what helps you make, that's what helps make these huge big jelly beans. But there you go. Uh, and what we're going to do is obviously when this side is cured a little bit more, I am going to tape up this side, this edge right here. And we are going to pour resin on this side. And then you let that uh, absolutely cure and my let resin takes at least three days to cure I leave it for seven before I then turn it over tape up this edge and then pour resin over that side and then leave it again so it takes you know one of these does take so much time to actually make you know just over the drying time and the curing time but as you I'm sure you'll agree when we actually have finished. Brilliant, here you go, George Ann was asking how we hang it and that's what I'm just about to do. <laughs> so here's the one, here's the one that we showed you at the beginning. This has got a beautiful swipe, the rainbow swipe on it with the holographic unicorn palette. And then this is another beautiful palette, very same, but it was a bloom with a different, uh, different uh, white and Prussian blue cell activator. So anyway, but there we go. And you can see you get the nice resin edge on both sides, finished very nicely. Now, how do we hang it? What we do, because it's MDF. Now, MDF is medium density fiberboard. What it is, is all the shavings and the clippings and the, and the bits and the dust of glue from the sawmills that they glue together with a very nasty carcinogenic glue to make this board, okay? And it's used in construction. Uh, when you cut it, you must be very careful because the dust from this MDF is just as nasty as dust from uh, epoxy resin. It's very nasty stuff. But anyway, um, half inch thick because it's, uh, it really takes the weight of the paint and it doesn't bow. What we do is we just take a bradle and we put a small hole in the top corner. And then as you can see, we get one of those tiny little eye hook screws. And what I do is I put a small, tiny amount of wood glue in the hole first. I hope this is in, in focus and you can see. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, put a small amount of wood glue in the hole first and then screw the little screw eye hook in. And that just really plants it in there nicely. And then this is just a piece of five pound fishing wire. 
and uh, enables it to spin nicely. And then you've got the double-sided pour and then the reinvented sun catcher, because as you can imagine, if you put this in a window or in a nice place in your house where there's a good light, illumination of a spotlight or a window, when it, when it spins around, it really does give you that nice, I'm trying to get it for you. There you go, it gives you that really pretty. So pretty. Absolutely, Rainbow Bean, Heather was just suggesting that embellishing the edges of it with some crushed glass or some crystals or something like that under the resin would be really beautiful. Absolutely, guys, this is what I mean. That was my idea. That's the reinvented sun catcher. Uh, uh, but please, this is what these videos are all about, is to inspire and help people. There's the idea. Run with it. Go with it. Create something amazing. As soon as I was explaining to Sean what we were doing, she said, why don't we make loads of little ones that are only about two inches square and then we can make a proper mobile and I'm like bingo there's another show so there's the a topic of another show we're going to do the same but with an actual mobile so we need to find some really nice wire that we can bend properly cut exactly to length because when you make mobiles balancing the mobile is the most important thing but yeah having say six or eight of the little ones even hanging on a piece of driftwood like mom does with the yeah bicycle. that would be lovely anyway chitty chat chitty chat chat so how many people have we got in the live chat still? 19. 19 people. Okay, so shall we carry on, guys? Do you want me to, do you want me to see? I, I know you do, my darling Heather, but we've got to make sure that everybody else is still interested and they're not um, a bit bored already. Yeah, Everyone says, yes, keep going. Brilliant. Okay, well, in that case, let's see what happens when we use that same colour palette on a white pillow, okay? So we've done the fuchsia, we've done the black. This is uh, the Glidden Essentials in Premium. Oh, sorry, the Glidden Premium, not Essentials, Glidden Premium in white satin. Oh, there we go. And again, guys, I know it's Mr. Clean Freak, but if you wipe up the edges, you don't get these dry bits. You see, I didn't wipe the edge last time I used it. You don't get the dry bits, your lids don't stick, and whilst trying to force them unstuck, you don't then break off loads of that dry paint that's gunged all the lid up and it goes into your pillow paint because we don't want bits in the pillow paint. Okay, cool. So here we go, just stretching it out. And I can see some, there is definitely a little, there's a few, there's a few little bubbles in there so we just give that a tap 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 and let's try and kind of straighten this up as straight oops sorry putting my head right in there straighten this up as best it can be these are eight inch boards yeah eight inch these guys are yep and um these are just the off cuts from when i uh i uh because a lot of the time, a lot of my canvases and things like that that I use, um, I use uh, when they get to large scale canvases, uh, especially like some of the large pieces I painted for the festival. I use um, MDF board as the actual canvas rather than a stretched canvas or anything like that. Just because where you're at a festival and in that environment, they're far more hard wearing and can take a bit of a knock before uh, actually damaging themselves. And uh, these are off cuts from the pieces that I needed. I mean, for instance, I needed a uh, three by two, uh, three feet by two feet uh, piece of wood, but it comes in four feet by four feet. So I had one foot by two foot three. So I had them just chop it all up into these eight inch squares. And bingo, I had a load more. I had at least like a dozen extra little canvases like that. So there we go. Okay, shall we do a bloom or a swipe? I think we should swipe because we want to really, really, um, we want to really, really compare these. Ah, Heather, so we can do an eight inch dog, Heather and the hot dogs. 
Yeah, we could actually do a hot dog, but too late now because I've put it on this one side. So we're going to do another swipe so it can be a real true test next week. Uh, we can show everyone. Look, so here we go. Same colour palette. Uh, Vanna put them down slightly differently than I. But uh, same colour palette, different coloured pillows. Here's the difference, right? And I think that's a pretty good thing to be able to show and learn people so they can really get an idea because uh, especially for those that are still unclear about how a paint can be transparent or opaque or what it means and da 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 when you start using these same paints on different colored pillows you can really see the different effects you get and whether they are transparent or opaque is everyone in the live chat all good and up to date and understand about transparent and opaque paints because I have this little chart that I can show really easily <laughs> that will help you hopefully understand about transparent paints and how a paint can be transparent. Now, the way they make paints is with a base at first, okay guys? Now, they invented a transparent base because when you use pigments in a transparent base, as we are here, you can keep their vibrancy and their depth of color. If you're actually using a colored base, which is how most paints are actually made, it will be with either a white base or a, uh, or a light gray base, if it's a darker tone color, then they add pigments to that. And that's how they actually make the paint. But the different pigments they add will make, determine whether the paint is opaque, semi-opaque, and semi-transparent or transparent, whether they're used in a white base to start with or a clear base. Now, I hope that made sense. I hope that waffle was worth it. And I hope I haven't confused. And are there any questions? <laughs> so, what is he going on about? Nelvia, hi there, my dear. Nelvia has just joined us, bless her heart. Hi there, Nelvia. How are you doing, sweetie? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the, actually, I'm gonna use the gold, man. I'm gonna use gold. And, da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna use gold. Yeah, well, gold on, the, uh, on these colors here. I'm gonna use gold, but then I'm also gonna put a dribble. I'm gonna put a little bit more gold on there than that. There we go. Sorry guys, there you go, so you can see. Here's the gold. But I'm also now gonna put a dribble of the Prussian blue too, because it can give us some really good effects. Oops. Hey, Heather, how can I help you? Ah, so someone is having trouble choosing their colors. Right, one second, guys, let me just do this, okay? So, here we go. Tina, Tina Wheaton was saying she's still having trouble choosing her colours. No problem. So, with the colour wheel, I have one. I haven't got one here to show you. I mean, it's digital on my phone. I was going to say, I just pulled it up. Fantastic. There we go. So, here's the colour wheel. Let's just... Da, 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 da. So, Vanna, please explain how to use the colour wheel. All right. So... Start by picking a color that you love. Me, obviously, pinks and purples. And if you want a contrasting color that is complementary, you go opposite, so directly across. So purple would be yellow, violet would be green, orange would be blue, and then any of the colors next to it would go with it without clashing, but the complementary contrasting is the color directly across the wheel. I hope that makes sense and people understood. Is that cool? Ask questions if you have them. Ask questions. And while we were doing that, <gasps> look what's happened. Oh my jollies, what? So we are definitely gonna tilt. Look at those beans, the beans in the middle, right? Look at those, oh, oh my word. <laughs> Heather's just making fun of me going, oh! 
Oh dear. Right, so what are we doing here guys? We're just wetting our edges. Why do we need to wet our edges? Because paint flows over a wet edge far, uh, far easier than a dry edge. And especially as this is a MDF, MDF literally, that's why I have um, I primed the uh, primed the MDF first because it literally is a sponge. So here we go. That's looking rather that's looking rather nice, isn't it? I'm really quite happy with these being. Want to keep the most of this possible, so we're going to tip that that way a little bit, uh, but a little bit back. Yeah, oh, you know, I want to keep this. So hopefully that's what we're going to keep. Here we go. It almost feels like we need a just like a little theme song, it's the spinning theme song, you know? <laughs> like the dating game or something. I don't know. Oh, and look what we got to keep! Yay! I don't mind about this kind of funny goldy overstripe here and a bit here, and I'm I'm in love with that composition as it is. Oh, wow. Oh, and the colours here and the jelly beans. Let's just hold this up for you guys. And now let's just... Oh, they jumped the shit. The abandoned beans here. Yeah, we're going to lose a few beans. But wow. That's rather pretty. It's really... Oh, gosh. Okay, got to give it one more spin. Yeah, you do. You've got to get the extra off, otherwise you run the risk, darling. And <laughs> Heather's going, oh, no more spinning, no. But you've got to spin the excess off, you really do, because otherwise you run a severe risk of having too much paint on the canvas, and when it dries, it's going to crack. And, you know, you know, if you think you're heartbroken about losing these bits of colours and beans around the end, when you come back tomorrow and you see that all cracked to bits because it, it was too thick and it couldn't dry, your heart breaks even more, I can tell you about that. But anyway, so there we go. No more movement. Lovely, beautiful. Let's just see if I can get a... <laughs> Excellent. How many people? How many people do we still have in the live chat? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Well, we're starting to lose a few people. They were obviously had other things to do and whatnot. And again, this is the whole reason why we were uh, now doing this every other week because we're getting the idea that less is more. Well, and you had some late joiners. The late joiners still get to watch you paint. Exactly. Oh, the late joiners still get to watch us paint. Yes, I guess that's that's really lovely. But look at those edges. We've got some great cells over these edges. Some lovely. Yeah, so we're going to keep this edge. So again, when this is dry and I tape it up, I'm going to tape it up just as I did. Uh, and just as I showed you how I taped up the other pieces we've just poured on, I'm going to tape it up so we keep these edges because it's just so pretty. I love this one. And I feel I'm going to definitely use white as a pillow on the other side of this one and 100% do a bloom on it because I love blooms. But, you know, it's totally up to you. You guys can do whatever you want on whatever edges. There's no rules here. These are just ideas supplied by yours truly. And there you go. But, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm loving this. Is just... I think that's rather pretty and came out quite, quite nicely indeed. So what we actually need to do now... We need a place to put it. What, how can I help you? <clears throat> so, my dear, can you get four of those little shot glasses, cups? Put them here. Perfect and excellent. Thank you, go. Thank you, darling. I shall just put that piece there. Just to the side. Da, 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 da. Now we're just gonna... Hi there, so Heather says something. She just almost forgot. What's going on, Heather? What have you just remembered? Yes. 
yes, oh yeah, yeah, of course. George Ann just said, you know, there might not be that many beans here as usual, whoops, because lots of our beans are at pork on, which is absolutely true, yes they are. So, yeah, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not worried about how many people are in the live chat or anything like that because many people uh, don't make the actual live show, can't make the live show for various reasons, but then they always watch the show back and then leave me the most wonderful, lovely comments on the show and pay Vanna such lovely comments and, and tell us how much they love our show and love watching us. Okay, sorry, Heather's just saying something in my ear. What's that, Heather? Oh, did someone just send us a sticker? G-E. G-E. Oh, bless your heart, G-E. What, what is your actual name, if you don't mind us asking, if you don't mind sharing on the, on the, on the live chat? So, but, or how would you like us to refer to you? Just as G-E. But thank you so much for sending that uh, donation. That's absolutely really lovely, and it warms my heart. We don't, get, we don't get many of them, and we don't expect them either. We're not doing it for them, but... When we do receive a sticker like that, that's ever so kind of you. Thank you so much for that love and support. Sincerely. I'm sorry, I'm just washing out the rag because Banner is managing the uh, live chat and keeping it together in there right now and she's poorly and her usual Banner swipe duties are being suspended for this week because as I said, bless her, she woke up this morning feeling far worse than I did. Okay, there we go. So we've done three of these beautiful, of these beautiful uh, double-sided pools or the reinvented sun catcher. Rainbow oh, Rainbow, dar oh, darling, Rainbow. You're in my ear, Heather. Why are you sending me a sticker, darling? You help so much anyway. Oh. Bless your heart, thank you. She's saying in, in my ear, for everyone that's listening, Heather's saying in my ear, you guys do so much for us that it's the least you can do. But anybody else that's watching, don't feel obligated to, to send us a sticker or anything like that, please. We just want to really help. If you can afford to do so, then, you know, by all means, by all means <laughs> ain't no one going to turn down someone's gratitude. But... Um, but, but thank you so much. So what we're going to do right now, though, is for everybody that joined late, we're going to show, here you go, there is Vanna's. Look at that. We did lose a bit of the gold on the bottom, but we kept a bit of it there. But it's that, it's that, it's that Pebio iridescent violet blue that is just pretty amazing, isn't it? Look at that. There you go. There's Vanna's swipe. There's her reinvented sun catcher. Okay, and then there is my one. Oops, just dropping the little pots that they were sitting on. Here's my swipe with the same color palette, but on a on a black background. I'm really loving that. That's pretty, pretty. It came out very prettily. I'm very happy with that one. All of the rainbow colours, well, this is it, it's the same colour, sorry guys, all of the rainbow colours, I keep turning away from the camera when I speak and I'm very sorry, yeah, all of the rainbow colours, exactly the same rainbow colours, the holographic unicorn palette, uh, but on different coloured pillows, so you can see how they work and what they do and you can just see the beautiful fades, this is almost like stained glass, yes. I think I might just do exactly the same to the other side, so... Yes. Well, no, but then you don't, you get no contrast when it turns. Oh, that's true. You know, so yeah, we yeah. No, I'm gonna do a bloom on the other same colours. I'm gonna use again though, but do a bloom on the other side, because uh, I'm one of those people. I mix up paints brand new every single time, because you have the best chance at getting a nice even consistency and all your paints working nicely together with the cell activator, so you can you know, achieve these kind of results because I, I get no more pleasure than helping someone. I'm gonna, what am I doing? I'm gonna cover up the logo. I don't wanna, don't cover up the logo. <laughs> 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 
Don't cover up the logo for heaven's sake. Oh, anyway, there we go. Da, 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 da. Not the logo, Fluid Art Co. They're fantastic people. If you haven't ordered anything from them, I suggest you order from them. Their products are fantastic. And the thing that really sells it for me is they're a small company. Yeah, sure, they ship all around the world, but they're a small new company. But it's their business ethic and customer care ethic which blew me away. I remember seeing a post a long time ago about someone buying some Floetrol online and when they got it, it was just, um, it's, blurry. it's blurry. So let me just uh, click. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Um, yes, someone online got ripped off with a bottle of Floetrol and it was just basically white water. It was awful. And uh, one of the owners of the company, Fluid Art Co, Billy, uh, got wind of this and out of her company's own pocket, personally sent this person who got ripped off by some horrible person online for Floetrol, actually sent her a bottle of Floetrol out of their own pocket and just to you know, help and support the community and help out this poor person that had been ripped off. That's what really made them stand out head and shoulders above the rest really and, uh, and why I love them so much and why I use their products. Now, lots of people, uh, oh, I'm just showing you the consistency here, guys, while I'm waffling. Uh, lots of people often thought right from the get-go that I was sponsored by them because I always repped them, and that is not the case. Uh, I <laughs> was never sponsored by them, uh, but uh, thankfully now, and it's really nice, and I kind of feel comfortable uh, mentioning it, um, because of my continued support of them and things like this, uh, they actually do now sponsor me. Um, and this was why we were going to possibly be in, uh, in Vegas there for PORCON and meet all the people that we were desperately trying to meet. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. We, couldn't, we just couldn't make it work with our time schedule and uh, our finances and yada, yada, yada. Waffle, waffle, waffle. But there you go. So anyway, um, let's just... Uh, do you want to... I don't think I need to run through the colours with you or anything else again. Oh, but I will show you this. Just quickly, show and tell. Oh, that's going to be a nice side for this. <laughs> I just heard Heather go, oh, in my ear. <laughs> so there you go, guys. This is that colour palette on... Uh, uh, no, no, it is not that colour palette. Sorry, it was the one I was using earlier. Uh, it's a, a fantastic colour palette of the Rust-Oleum Gold Mine. And then it is uh, a Deja Vu, uh, lovely deep pink from uh, TLP. Then it's TLP Hoity Toity, one of the colour changing. That's why it will actually change colour from green to pink to blue. Oops, and I just touched the edge of that. That was a shame waffling away anyway but then it is another it's a it's the studio metallics at pbo but then it's violet rain and then uh these two beautiful colors violet rain here we go by uh tlp this beautiful beautiful deep purple with a shimmer and then this fantastic color called flamingo it's this gorgeous light pink and it only comes out light pink if you use it on a white background but uh, it will change colour from green to this beautiful greeny blue to a kind of violet colour. It's a kind of chameleon pigment. And the really crazy thing is, if you can see it, it looks like water. Where am I? There we are. I'm in the frame. Sorry. If you can see it, it's weird. The pigment is so fine when it moves, it's like water. It's ever so strange. But anyway, that's the colour palette for this pretty piece that we're gonna play, that we're gonna uh, do a nice swipe on. I'm gonna, might have to mix up more of these colors because it came out rather prettily, as you can see. But, oh, there we go. Now, let me just do this. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's saying, <laughs> it's <laughs> rotation lock, rotation lock it's saying, blah, blah, blah. So I just have to put it this way. <laughs> to say thank you guys so much again for your love and support, your patience waiting for the show to start again. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for listening to me, Waffle. Thank you to Heather in my ear. Thank you to all of you OG beans that have been in the live chat. Thank you to everybody that sent a sticker. You're very naughty and you're very kind and we're very grateful. 
and um, we will see you in two weeks time uh, after everyone has decompressed from uh, poor con and we've had more time to make a much better show I hope this show was good and you enjoyed it please let us know what you think in the comments hit that thumbs up button that like button because the more of those we get the more likely YouTube is to start suggesting our videos to other people and above all my lovely friends take care and happy pouring. Mwah. Ciao.